Everyone talks about this big data term, right? The big data is the idea that there's a lot of data out there and now it's all available. With computing power getting better, with technologies getting better, we can actually take the proverbial needle in a haystack. In my group, you know, Bing Predicts, and also in Bing, we spend a lot of time using machine learning. A lot of our technologies are focused on kind of solving problems using over big data. We want to do some smart analysis, and, and the technology that we've built in Bing over the years can also be applied to Bing Predicts in the same way, where we're saying, let's figure out which of these searches or which of these intents are really about this product. So it's not just querying for a politician that matters, it's actually looking at, is this person visiting a page which would indicate he or she is a supporter of this candidate. We built an experience on Bing which lets you look at what we call the Bing Political Index, which is a quick snapshot of where each candidate stands and everything. We've been over 90% accurate for reality shows. We've been in the 90s for the midterm elections in 2014. And most recently for the Grammys, we were 20 for 22. We have a lot of freedom and flexibility to come up with new ideas and, and run with it. And I think that's a very powerful thing that Microsoft allows us to do. We also have a lot more diversity, people from all walks of life. All we care about is people's passion and people's capabilities. And beyond that, there's no other requirement. Hi, I'm Walter Sun, and I'm the project lead for Bing Predicts.